Well, I, I really wanted to be part of this because I thought it was an amazing script and I am a big fan of uh, Cormac McCarthy's work and Ridley's work. And then I read it and I thought it was a character that I had not played before. And that's what I always look for, something new. I mean, I've played similar characters, but I didn't feel like I was doing the same thing twice. This is a, this is very fresh uh, material. I think it's a, a script that feels so new and brave and original. It doesn't imitate anything else. And yeah, she's like the representation of the victim. She's the, the one that goes towards the light and tries to make the, the decisions that are gonna bring happy consequences. And she fa finds her, herself trapped in a, in a terrible story. Yeah, sometimes. But it also talks a lot about the, you know, how scary it is to realize that, that you have the power to realize to do right or wrong and that that will have consequences. But most of the time you can direct that, that result. You can really destroy everything if you want. I think he's a great director. I mean, he's done some movies that are masterpieces, you know, some of them are, they have marked people's lives, you know, like, uh, and he's really great with the actors. He gives you a lot of freedom, gives you a few, a few brilliant notes right before shooting, but then he leaves you alone, gives you a lot of space. And he's a, he's a very smart, um, funny because Ridley is funny even you know he, he can be shy and seem very reserved but he's he's very funny I, I really connect with his sense of humor and I just want to work more with him because this was short it was just like three or four weeks <clears throat> we didn't rehearse with Ridley he didn't want to rehearse and I think that's better for this for this movie other times I prefer to rehearse but in this one, I thought it was better the way he wanted to do it. And we just had a read through, you know, all of us together. And then he talked with the, he had meetings with different groups, you know, with the ones that had more scenes together. Sometimes with Michael and Brad or with me and Michael or Javier and Cameron and just talk to, to all of us separately and, and sometimes together as a cast read through, just to hear the whole thing from beginning to end. And, and that's how we did it. There was not like real, you know, re rehearsal of running the scene. Not until, almost until the cameras were rolling because we didn't even do that on the set. He would walk the scene, you know, talk to us about how we wanted to move the scene and then set up the cameras, give us a lot of freedom. But I, I had fun making it. The, the movie is, ve is very dark because it's talking about a very dark, terrible issue, but, but I think all of us can say that it was a good experience to make the movie. And then I see the movie, I'm happy with the result. I think it's one of Ridley's best films. And I like the way he, he treats the violence. I like that it's not a violence that doesn't hurt. It has to hurt to watch it, you know? If, if not, if means nothing. If not, it's like life means nothing. It's like a video game. It's, no, these are real people going through something really disturbing and, and it has to, to hurt to watch it. If not, then it's not dealing with that su subject in a responsible way. And I always say this, it's not, I don't wanna be misunderstood. Like a movie is there to change the world or to give you a lesson, but there are, there are subjects that, that should be treated with, with, you know, you have to be careful and, and know that there is a responsibility that comes with making a movie about something like this because it's something that unfortunately is real, it's, it's going on. So. <laughs>